guys, it's Donna from Donna Gills Designs, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing another fall pen for you guys. Um, I've been wanting to try this diamond kind of look for a while now. Um, last year, when I was making my tumblers, for a while there, I was really into the kind of like the Argyle look, so to me, this kind of looks similar. So, I wanted to try it out for you guys. So everything I use in today's video, as always, will be linked down in the description below for you guys, along with the links to my social media if you want to follow me there. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so I want to show you how I like to prep my pens when I am making my rhinestone pens. So I like to use the Makerflow pen, so I'm just unscrewing that tip. I'm going to take the barrel off, put it back together, put it back in packaging, and set it aside for later so I don't lose any parts so what i like to do is i just like to give it a quick sand with my sanding box spray it down with some rubbing alcohol and wipe it down with a paper towel prior to painting my pen i like to paint my pens to kind of coordinate you know a color that's in my pen this way there's nothing poking through in between the stones and then i let that paint completely dry before starting my first row so it's important that you keep your first row straight. This way it'll help you keep your remaining row straight. So what I'm gonna be doing is going around, I like to use 12 stones across my um, pens. And then what I like to do is once I'm done placing them, I like to evenly space them, you know, apart so it's kind of the same distance. Um, and it's really not that much that you have to do, but I just, you know, prefer to do it that way. And then I'm going to tip my pen over and, and put it flat with my table and use whatever, if you're rhinestone picker or today I'm using a wax pencil, I'm just gonna use that to push those stones flat, uh, flush against my table and then let that dry for about 30 minutes. And then that, that just helps us make sure that all of our stones are straight. So once I'm done with that, I like to move my pen over to this manual turner to use it. You can also use your hand if you just wanna hold your pen in your hand to do it, that's fine too. You know, it just depends on what your preference is. The adhesive I'm using today is Liquid Fusion. I usually get mine from Amazon. I'll put that down in a link uh, down in the description below for you guys. And so I'm just, following along with this template I made, which of course, like my other templates, this one also is available on my website, which is that link is also listed down in the description below. So the colors I'm using on this pen, um, I tried to just make it three colors for this time, but you can of course um, make it with more colors if you want If you want to, that you can make the diamonds more than two colors if you want to. So the colors I'm using, all of my rhinestones I'm using today, are from pdb creative studio their link and discount code is listed down in the description for you so for the gold which kind of outlines our dark brown and our rose colored um, rhinestones that gold is called gold mine the dark brown that i'm using is called helix and that is the the first color diamond on this pen that we'll be using and then the rose color which i still felt was a fall color um is metallic rose so those are the three colors that i am using today and then what you have to be careful with this pen it kind of you know gets a little tricky you know like you'll have your your first color of diamonds and then that gold you know that kind of crisscrosses but when you get down to the next color so that that first line that has a rose color and that last line that has a brown color you're going to have to alternate for example the first the first diamond color will be rose then you'll have of course the crisscross gold and then you have the last stone of the brown diamond and then of gold and then for the next diamond it would be that metallic rose so you'll go to that color and you're going to alternate that all across the pen and you're going to have that um every time you start a section that you're ending one color diamond and you're starting a new color diamond you know so i just wanted you guys um to be aware of it 
But if you get my template, it comes with two different graphs, you know, um, because I feel like some people like one type of graph and other people like a different kind of graph. So I just put them both in there, you know, um, just because one preference might be different than another preference. I just don't want to give you guys more than one option. And this is where my kits um, come in handy. I do have a monthly rhinestone pen kit. Um, this month, September, since it's back to school, it is a pencil. Um, I will give you a um, bonus information here, only in this video. This will be my pen kit for November. Um, just because I felt it was like really fallish and I really liked the colors. So if you haven't purchased one of my kits before, it comes with everything you need. The Makerflow pen, a mini sanding block, and alcohol wipes for after you're sanding. It comes with a precision bottle with some liquid fusion in it. The rhinestones, uh, rhinestone trays, one for each color. You'll have a rhinestone picker. I do include this squeeze, squeegee you see me using here. I use that to keep my rows straight. You'll have a highlighter so you can mark the rows on the, the paper on the template. Um, so you can keep track of where you are. You'll get a marker that you can mark the beginning of each row. You'll see my marker in here is a white marker and that's because it's a dark colored paint. So I want to be able to really see it. And then of course a brush so you can clean it. So we're just working on our last rows here. Um, and then I'll set it out to um, dry for three days. And then I'll take some dish soap and water and just give it a good clean just to get you know any wax from my wax pencil that may have gotten on those rhinestones i just want to make sure that that pen is good and clean and i do that for every pen before i package it up if you have any questions about doing this pen or if you need any help making this pen please reach out to me um i have no problem helping anyone that needs a little assistance with this because this one's hanging out super cute and you can do so many different color variations with this one. You don't have to do, you know, brown, you know, fall colors. You know, this is what the pen looked like all finished. I have to honestly say this is probably out of all the templates I've made so far, this one is by far my favorite. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope you all you guys have a fabulous day and I will see you in the next one.